Ghazwa Hind is a very interesting topic. Um, it's it's a very fascinating topic as well. Uh, there is a hadith uh, of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hadith means the uh, the saying or the actions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is recorded in the books. This is actually called as hadith. So there is a famous hadith which says that the fire of hell is um, is forbidden upon two groups of people. The first group of people is the one who will be fighting against the Antichrist or Dajjal under the leadership of Jesus Christ. This is the first group. The second group of people will be will be those who will be fighting in India, in Al-Hind. Okay? So this is the famous narration attributed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they say that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said this statement. And uh, they try to push this narrative that Ghazwai Hind will gonna take place someday. Now, uh, talking about the hadith, I won't be going in much details about the hadith sciences because um, I, even I'm not the student of hadith sciences, but I happened to watch a video of a Delhi based uh, Islamic scholar, Sheikh Muhammad Rahmani of uh, Jamia Sanabil. Uh, he was attending a live discussion last week, I guess, so I happened to come across his video and he explained in his video that uh, the Hadith of Ghazwa Hind is actually inauthentic and weak. It's not authentic. It's a, it's a daif Hadith. It's a weak Hadith. Uh, I won't be telling you about what is exactly the Sani Hadith or daif Hadith. It would be very much boring, but I would tell you that uh, the Hadiths are of three types, Sahih, Hassan and daif. So Sahih Hadith is the one which comes directly from Prophet Muhammad to you with all the chain of narrators to be authentic. Daif Hadith is the one which comes from the Prophet Muhammad to you and all the and some of the chain of narrators are dubious and the liars or uh, some of the chain of narrators would be missing. So this scholar, this Islamic scholar from Delhi, he said that the Hadith which speaks about Ghazwa Hind is actually Daif or weak Hadith. Okay. So... Uh, if, if anyone challenges that, no, 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 it's authentic and uh, it's going to take place someday and the Ghazwa Hind will, will going to happen. So some of the historians, they have uh, argued and they have said that Ghazwa Hind has already taken place and uh, there will be no more Ghazwa Hind. This is what they say. They say that when uh, Muhammad bin Qasim, he came through Khyber, Khyber Pass to India with uh, 4,000 uh, troops. So uh, he came there and then he later he went back. So they say that this was actually Ghazwa Hind. It took place. It's over. It's khalas. It's no more Ghazwa Hind now. So this is what they say. And now the interesting thing is who is actually pushing this narrative of Ghazwa Hind? Uh, obviously Pakistan. And they have their own uh, political goal against India. Uh, to be honest, it's my, it's my view that uh, Pakistan cannot confront India economically. Pakistan cannot fight India militarily. Pakistan cannot challenge India in, in, in IT industry, in all other industries. So obviously, Pakistan uh, survives on such uh, vile propaganda that someday we're going to attack India and Ghazwa Hind will going to take place and we're going to rule India and this and that. And uh, interestingly, some of the um, fringe elements uh, in Pakistan, they use the uh, Maulanas or the uh, Islamic scholars like uh, Isra Ahmad. Isra Ahmad was a very radical uh, and problematic preacher in Pakistan. In fact, his YouTube channel was removed recently uh, by the YouTube management because uh, the Jewish community complained about Isra Ahmad that Faisal Akram, who attacked the Texas synagogue, uh, he was radicalized by Isra Ahmad. So Isra Ahmad from Pakistan was a very problematic preacher. He passed away long ago. But his um, uh, video on Ghazwa Hind is very famous. And let me tell you something really interesting. Uh, India's uh, Rana Ayub, okay? Rana Ayub, she tweeted during Ramadan, uh, 4 a.m. at the Ayubs, which means she was actually flaunting about uh, watching Isra Ahmad's lecture in her house at 4 a.m. at the night during Ramadan. Anyway, uh, Isra Ahmad was the one who, who promoted this idea of Ghazwa Hind uh, to another level. And uh, uh, he, uh, he said that Taliban will re-establish itself 
and Taliban will align with Pakistan and Taliban and Pakistan will attack India. So this is all, I believe it's all nonsense. First of all, the hadith, which uh, states that Ghazwa Hind will gonna take place. According to the Delhi Bay scholar, the hadith itself is weak, it's not authentic. Second thing is that uh, even if you agree that the Ghazwa Hind will gonna take place, some of the historians challenged it and say that Ghazwa Hind has already taken place and there will be no more Ghazwa Hind. And third thing is that this narrative is uh, promoted and pushed by the Pakistani agencies and the Pakistani uh, preachers uh, to, uh, to, um, uh, to make uh, people hate India and to make uh, people attack India. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.